Hello everyone, welcome to this simple DevOps channel. In this video, I'm going to show you how to SSH to EC2 instances using Linux or Mac in AWS. So as you can see, now I have my first instance running. So in order to SSH, you have to go first and open your terminal. So let me go and open my terminal here. And here we need to write, we need to run SSH command. So SSH and we need to specify the username which is EC2 user and at we need to specify the public v4 address as you can see if you click on this my first instance checkbox you will see public IP v4 address let's copy this and let me open the terminal again and here I'm going to paste it here and if you do enter you will see that it's asking us, are you sure you want to continue connecting? Okay, let's do yes. And here you can see it's saying that warning permanently added this address to the list of known holes. It's seeing the permission denied. So as you can see, it's public key. So in order to solve this problem, you can, you can just stop the video and try to solve it by your own. But now let's solve it together. So as you remember, while we were creating our first EC2 instance, we created, we created the new key pair, right? And we downloaded it. So in order to connect to this EC2 instance, we need to use this key pair, this PM file, as you remember. So let me go and uh, show you that. So if I go to my finder, I save it to my downloads page, as you can see my key pair. So I'm going to open my terminal and here I'm going to go to ls and here I'm going to go to the downloads folder. And if I do ls, I have my kpair folder, cd my kpair folder. And if I do control c, it will clear. And if I do ls, here you can see I have ec tutorialpm so make sure you have to go to this directory and make sure just uh, run ls and inside that you have to have this pm file that you downloaded earlier while you were creating a key pair file. So after that we need to run again the new ssh command using this key pair. So, so you might be wondering why would we need the key pair. So in order to actually use this EC2, EC2 instance by ourselves, we need to do it, we need to create a key pair, right? So in that way, not non, none other people can access to our EC2 instance. This is this our machine, all right? So now I'm going to run ssh-y and then I have to specify this file, the PEM file, ec 2 like underscore tutorial and then dot pem and then I have to specify the the name of the user ec2 user and same at and then the public v4 address here I'm going to copy again and simply paste it here so what I'm doing here again ssh-y ec2 tutorial dot pem this file name and I'm specifying the username ec2 user and here I'm specifying the public v4 address. So if I do enter, you can see it's giving us another permission denied error. So this time it's saying that we need to give some permission to this ec2 tutorial.pm file, right? So in order to solve this problem again, I would highly, highly recommend you to stop this video and do some search. And in this way you will learn, you know, the, your problem solving skills will improve. So after you try at least some, you know, at least if, uh, if you give some try, you can um, continue to, to see the, the result of this video. So now we are going to give the, the solution for this. So in order to solve this problem, basically let's run chmode, chmode, and then 0400, and then we need to specify the name of the PEM file, which is ec2 underscore tutorial dot pem. If I click on enter, you will see that 
it's done. So if we run the, the below above command again, which is ssh dash y ec2 tutorial dot pm and then ec2 user dot like add public IP v4 address. And if I do click on enter, boom, you can see it's now we are inside our ec2 instance. We are inside the, the virtual machine. You can see this is how you can SSH to the EC2 instance in AWS. So if I if I run Control L, it will clear my page. And now if I do like who am I? As you can see, it's showing me you are EC2 user. So you can now run the couple of commands. So that's all about it for this video. You can click on exit and it will exit. You can see connection to this closet. Thank you very much and I will see you in the next videos.